Alright, alright. Ow! <laughs> when stuff falls on you like that, it takes down your... Br ah! Oh my gosh! We're never gonna make it out of here. Oh no. We gotta go back through this cloud thing. Hold your breath! Ah! Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Kobe Scroby and welcome to Miasma Caves. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts on it down below in the comments and you can also subscribe to the channel for possibly more Miasma Caves, but definitely other videos. So I just received an email from the developer of this game who is Windy Games and they asked if I wanted to try their game out. So they sent me a key for it. And um, in their email, it sounded like it was somewhat similar to a game like My Time at Porsche, um, but I'm not, I'm not really sure. Here is the Steam page for it. it is a Miasma Caves is a pacifist roguelike game where you play as Lazath. Is it Lazath? <laughs> a treasure hunter looking to appraise relics and revitalize her village in a procedurally generated cave system against the environment itself. Now it looked like this game is in early access for $19.99 on the Steam on Steam. So let's give it a try. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. All right, so we're not off to a great start here. <laughs> what is happening? So if I bring my mouse down, it brings the camera down. But if I stop, it starts spinning again. All right, we are playing now. So I had a little trouble with this. And if you buy the game, just for your information, if you have a controller plugged into your PC when you start the game, you'll get that spinning thing uh, that you saw earlier. So, I have my controller unplugged. I did email the developers about it and they told me that uh, that's what causes it. So, just for your information. So, let's check this out. I haven't actually played it. I played it enough to get out of this cave. Squeak! Oh, a treasure. Hope it's something good. Uh, I didn't get to read it all. I didn't get to read that one either. Okay, now it's dark. So, oh, that said my torch burned out. Okay. So, let's see here. Oh. I right-clicked that one. We got a new torch now. So, I played this uh, enough to get out of this cave, and that's really it. Just to... Squeak, squeak! Oh, no! Flicker! Come on, Flicker. Let's get out of here. Okay, so, um, and that's all that I played of it. I just wanted to see that it worked, and it does work now. So, we run through this cave here. Good, one of the way markers we left on the way in. We just need to follow those to get home and you back to safety. So, I think I could pick these guys up? Maybe not. Okay. All right. Oh, 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 I missed something. Don't know what that was. <laughs> uh, oh, something else. I guess we'll check this. Ah! What the crap? <laughs> Alright. That didn't happen last time I did this. Alright. Darn, I knew that sound like a cave-in. Was hoping it would just be a few loose stones. I'll have to dig my way out of the path is blocked out if the path is blocked. Hope I remember to bring some digging stuff. Alright, so the path is blocked so we can take our pickaxe here. Uh, I don't, didn't see that we can crouch or anything but we can dig this thing. Alright, there we go. And the durability on this pickaxe goes down extremely fast. As you see just from doing that it went down probably a quarter of the way. Alright, so let's climb this guy. Jump. All right. What else do we got around here? 
Anything interesting? There's something there. Wait, there we go. And I tried digging in here a little bit, and I broke my pickaxe when I did it. I I wanted to see if I could cause a cave-in, so I took this pillar out, and it didn't cave-in. So I'm not exactly sure how that works, if it's just random, or if you dig too much, it falls in on you, or what. So let's get out of here. Flicker, you'll be okay. Rest here at home and heal up. I'll head back to the cave and try to find some supplies. But first, I need to go sell the treasure we found at the shop with the treasure chest sign. Okay. Treasure chest sign. Hey, Lys Lysith. I hope you're being safe when you're in the cave. You probably won't see one. Watch out for ley lines. You probably won't see one when digging. So those don't... Uh, I'm a slow reader. <laughs> and those don't stay up long enough for me. Let's see. So what's this one? Adventure shop. What is this? A shiny rock. I should appraise it to find out what it is. Uh, okay. How do I do that? Exploring down crevices while ensuring... Oh, it's a climbing rope. Glowing way marker. Conkas? If the rich Drapaka milk aroma won't make you dizzy, the spiritual cut... The spiral cut shape will. It's all... It's also got a great zesty flavor on top. Flavor? Okay. Shiny rock, shiny rock, shiny rock. Okay, I need to have those appraised. So it looks like I need to go to the treasure place here first. That... Does not look like a treasure chest. This one here does. Okay, raw copper. Looks like a carrot root, but you can't eat it. Mom had a bracelet made of copper wire spirals. She would rub it when she was nervous or thinking carefully. Wherever she is, I hope she still has it. Zazma would say it's better for making tools, but... Respectfully, I would disagree. Oh! Amethyst, a vibrant purple quartz. Despite its rich color, this stone is too common to be worth much. Often it's used to make prayer beads, though, which do bring no small amount of hope to the world. Aquamarine. Um, pale color. I wonder if this is anything important. Um, let's just. Biotite. Geometric yellow black crystal. Depending on how it comes out of the earth, it can look like Dad's scales. Dark and glossy. It can peel into sheets. Good for coloring lanterns or wind chimes, maybe. Okay, so do I sell this stuff? 40, 40, 15. 60. Uh, okay. Do I have... I wonder if this fills up when I get basically, like, XP for finding stuff? Item gallery. Books. Okay. Uh, okay, it looks like we can equip things. Can I do this? No, okay. Bring back whatever you find down there. Selling treasures can help improve your ability to appraise items, even if what you're selling... something something. Okay, so maybe I should sell this stuff. Okay, I got... I think it was plus four. I barely saw it to right here. So let's sell this stuff, plus four. I don't know what this is. Is this food? It says it has a zesty flavor. And then copper? Plus six, okay. All right, interesting. What else do we got around here? I can't just go into places. I'm just itching for a new project. What do you say, kiddo? Why don't we start working on fixing up that house of yours? Oh, and maybe we can just build a new one. 
Uh, okay. Is this my house? No, it's a shop. Oh, this is the house upgrade shop. Okay, I see, I see. So, I have... Oh, no, adventure shop. I have this much? And if I build adventure shop one, it costs that much? Is that what I'm looking at? Okay, let's get out of here. Alright, so I'm thinking... This is where I left my guy. Squeak, squeak. Can't go in there. Alright, well, uh, let's go explore. Let's check this place out. Alright. <laughs> Can I dig these? Okay. How about this? Nope. Okay. Can I get out here? No. Doesn't seem as though I can do anything with that type of stuff. So, my pickaxe is going to run out of durability very quickly. So, I'm thinking... Let's just look in here and see what this place is real quick. In. Okay, so that looks like that is food. And this is food. Filled with extra salty chicken broth. Double folded dough. Guaranteed not to leak on long journeys. Okay, I don't know why I need food yet, other than health, but I don't see a health bar. Maybe it was... Okay, I'll show you when we get back into the cave. Uh, on the top left, there was something I didn't pay much attention to at the time. Let's look in here. Let's see. A torch. Um, we have 12 way markers. Climbing rope. We have one of those. Antler pickaxe. Bomb can open pathways or destroy rock. Air cleaner. A wall of poisonous fumes is never a good excuse for leaving a tunnel unexplored. Using a cleanser. Okay, so it seems like we need one of these. Let's see, 50, 90, how much do I have? 180. Um, uh, so I want another pickaxe. A torch. I want one of these. So let's get one of these. Let's get... Oh, man. I don't want to fill up my inventory all the way either, do I? Hmm. Then let's get another pickaxe. Did I get one? Okay. Oh, it says two right here. Okay. And then a torch. All right. And then let's go. Let's head back into the cave. I don't see that I can go anywhere else. If I press M, I don't get a map or anything. Let's uh, look over here. Make sure I can't go out this way. Nope, I can't. All right, I'm going to head back into the cave and see what we can find. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about Squeaky over there. <laughs> Creating a new cave. First time... And after fainting, may take a few minutes. So the caves, I believe, are procedurally generated. So I wonder, I'm thinking every time I go into this cave, it's going to be different. All right, so that only took about a minute, I suppose. And it wasn't too long. It was a little bit. All right, so that's our way out. What are these guys? Can I get these? Can I pick them up? Can I do this? So you can dig with your nails like this, too. If you run out of pickaxe. What is that? What is that? Ah, okay! <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, let's turn the torch on here. That didn't seem to do a whole lot, honestly. Alright, cave-ins. That kind of looks like a slime. Am I supposed to... Oh! What? Oh! I thought it broke off into two. Get back here.
Okay. Can I not kill these guys? Ah, we got you cornered now. I guess I can't hit hit him with that. Can I not hit him at all? Can I not kill him? All right. It looks like I'm digging. So it appears though I can't kill those guys. I thought I could kill them and get something out of them. So let's continue on here. My torch is halfway burned out already. So up there on the top left, around the map, I'm thought that oh, it's it's going down. Why is it going down? I wonder if that's oh. I wonder if that's like a hunger thing. <gasps> okay. <laughs> I thought I just killed myself. Um, alright. Now what? This way? Okay, so let's find out how to get out of here. Unless we just dig and make a place to stand? All right, we're out. All right, so be careful about that. Okay, okay. So that means cave in. When you see that stuff, ooh, what's that? When you see that coming down from the ceiling, we're gonna get caved in on. What is that? What are you? Hey, hey! I got him. What? What is that? An artifact. That's the thing I picked up. Where did this? Where did the sheep go? All right. You know what? I didn't leave any way markers either. Uh. Shoot. Which way did I even come from? Am I already lost? Home is that way. Oh, jeez. <gasps> Ooh, that looks. Okay. What is that? That looks like the wall we saw earlier all right so this is the way we came from so let's put away marker right there okay so my torch burned out it's a little hard to see oh jeez. um but honestly, the torch didn't do a whole lot for me, I don't think. Let's go this way? No? Jeez, I can't see a thing. Is this the way I came from? It is, alright. What is that? Is that something? Oh, it is something! Alright, let's see about getting this. No? Okay. Can I dig around it? Okay. Whoa. What is that? Okay, so I can't get that. What is this stuff? Is that something? No? Hmm. Man, where's my other marker? I left another marker down here. You guys, I'm gonna get so lost in here. Um, I can't even find the marker that I just put down. Okay, that was that way. Alright, here's my first marker. And then I went here. And I thought I put one down in there. Maybe I need to put one, like, right here so I know which one to go. 
Right there? Okay. Alright, nothing in here. So my uh, bar on the top left there is getting very low. I don't know what that means. Does that mean I need to eat something? No. Maybe that means that I'm gonna die? Is there so much oxygen in here? How does... I don't know. Aha! I can pick those guys up. Well, I couldn't do anything with these guys. It seems like. Uh, I think this way is home. Oh, look at that. There's another way to go over here. Uh oh Don't fall down there. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's the poison. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My bar- Oh no! Okay. So we learned something. <laughs> We learned that that bar is the amount of time that you can be in the cave. So probably, probably the amount of oxygen you have. Because when I went into that poison cloud, I guess, uh, which I could have used this thing that I don't have anymore. Oh man, all my stuff is gone too? Oh jeez. Do I have any money? Oh no, I don't have any money either! What do I do now? Go back in? Alright. We're back in the cave. Now this should be a different cave, I believe. Or is it the same? Oh god! Okay. It is different. There's that gas cloud that I can't go in, and I don't have any money to buy a thing either. Ooh, what's that? Pick it up. Alright, can't pick it up. So, what I'm thinking... So when that bar on the top left gets down, that means that uh, I'm out of oxygen. So I'm thinking what we need to do now is... Find some stuff... To sell, so we'll pick things up. Alright, so this is my first crossroads, right? So, oh no, I don't have any markers either. Oh my gosh, I don't have anything. All right, let's try to just go straight. Huh. All right. See that there? That's going to be a cave. Yep. All right. That one. dead end. I don't know what that sound is. It went away. So I wonder... Crap, I don't have a pickaxe either. Alright. I'm just kind of wondering, if there anything like on the other side, is there any reason to dig through this? Okay, that looks like dirt there. Hmm. Let's go back. Alright, let me go back to... where I know the way out. And then we'll go a different direction. Okay, so there is the gas cloud. Ooh! Nice. So, it kind of seems like that stuff just kind of randomly spawns. Oh, there, see, there's another one. Alright, let's try something. 
All right, it's not back. <laughs> but it just kind of randomly spawns. We picked up three things right there. So let's head to the first crossroad here. Um, crap, I don't have a freaking rope now either. Is that a way I can go? Nothing in here. There's something. Okay. We're doing stuff. When we get out of here, we can sell this stuff. Get out of here, slime. I want to go down, but I don't want to have to dig myself back out right now. Okay, so let's put me right back here in this main hall. All right, we're getting low on air, so let's head out and see what some of the stuff is that we picked up, and then we can get some supplies and come back. I want to go in there. See, I wonder if we're going to go back into the same cave. Oh, there's a sheep. That's what that noise is. A bouncy sheep. Um, I wonder if we'll come back into the same cave or if it'll generate another one. Ooh, perfect. Alright, let's head out of here. Alright, we're here at the treasure place. Carapace. A shell of tremendously large reptile. The outside is powerful, spiked armor, but the inside is a riot of swirling color. Lodestone. Lodestone. Labradorite. A gem with black currents running on a water blue field. Ooh, this stuff is worth quite a bit. Uh, wait, what's the question mark mean? Huh. Well, let's sell this stuff. Because we need the money. Now, I wonder... I wonder if you'll be able to use that stuff to craft things, or if you just... The only purpose for it is for money. Uh, to do stuff like upgrade your house and things like that. So let's head in here. And then let's get um, a climbing rope, an air cleanser, pickaxe, a uh, torch, and you get ten of those. That should be plenty. I don't know. Let's try the bomb, too. All right. <laughs> we got all the stuff to try. So let's head back inside and see if we get the same cave or if we get another one. So that loading screen only took about 25 seconds. So it is shorter if you don't pass out. Is this the same one? It looks like it is. Let's see if we got that wall of stuff. Yep, yeah, it is the same one. All right, so let's try this out. Can I just... Uh-oh. Did I not get it close enough? I can't pick it up. Oh, no. Gimme, gimme, gimme! Come here! Oh, oh, crap. So it appears as though I didn't get it close enough. So it didn't work. So I wasted it? All right. Uh, I went in anyway. Okay, so I just kind of went through it quickly. Yeah, it's still there. All right. Oh, geez. That scares me every time. All right, all right. Ow! <laughs> is that something? Or is that just a rock? Oh! It wasn't falling all the way? And it hurt me? So it looks like when stuff falls on you like that, it takes down your... Br ah! Oh my gosh! We're never going to make it out of here. Oh no. We got to go back through this cloud thing. 
Hold your breath! Ah! So is everything that I just sold before gone? It is. It doesn't look like I can save it before I go in. Crap, man, so I just lost everything again. I don't even have a backpack anymore. You know what, at this point, it would be worth it just to start a new game. Because then you'll get your stuff back. And uh, your money, initial money and stuff, and you can start over. Hmm. How about you? No? Alright, let's try one more time. And see what we find. Alright, here we are. We are... Oh, oh, oh. I kind of like first person better because I feel like I can see further and see what's coming. Oh, give me that sheep. Give me that. Yeah. Oh, no. Did you just pick it up? Wait, what was that? All right. We're finding some stuff this time. We are in. Uh huh. We're in a different cave right now. All right. No. See, I, won't, I don't know. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know what the deal is with those guys. Or those guys. I haven't encountered anything that will hurt me yet, other than the cave-ins. And the, the poison gas stuff. Okay, that looks like a long way down. I picked up some things. I'm kind of thinking I want to go back out and get some supplies now. Ooh. Is that another way to go? No. Alright, anything else? Anything else? Okay. So this should be straight out from the entrance, so I'm gonna go down a little more. Is that just a mushroom thing? It looks like an egg, doesn't it? <laughs> Let me find my entrance area again. It's right here. Alright, I'm gonna try to jump this. Okay, okay. Wasn't so bad. We could probably jump up this, really. Nothing over here. Alright. I don't think there's anything in there. All right, let's head back up. I don't see anything else in here, really. I'm a little turned around right now. All right. Oh, we're getting. Oh no, my inventory's full. <gasps> oh no! Crap. All right, I'm a little turned around. I think it's just straight back this way is out. So I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna sell this stuff. I'm gonna get some more supplies. No! Crap. <laughs> and then, uh... and then we can come back into this one and see if we can get a little further. <laughs> Opal! What are you worth? 102. Lodestone. Ruby. Steel. Biotite. Light. Gem? Opal. The twin statue. Hold on a sec. Oh! 
The dark can be very soothing, but sometimes you want to know if you're about to walk off a cliff. Also, carrying torches can get annoying. Oh, is that gonna... Let me, um... Okay, that's probably gonna light up around me. I'm also wondering, I'm very curious as to, like, the house upgrades. If I'm eventually gonna get, like, some type of workshop where I can use stuff like this. Steel, opal rubies, and make things. Uh, but at the moment, let's sell this stuff. And then there, there should be, like, a sell all or a press E to sell or something... But let's sell all this stuff because I don't have any type of storage except for right here in my inventory. Alright, we have uh, 654. Let's get some supplies, head back in. Get some more stuff. So, let's definitely get these way markers. Climbing rope, pickaxe. Hmm, I want to try out the bomb, and I want to make this air cleanser work, so we'll try that stuff out. So how much money do we need to get our upgrade? I kind of want to get to that and see what it's like. Uh, wait, is it here? Adventure Shop 1, so we need 345. Oh, we can get that, let's do that. Build it. Adventure Shop 1, build it. Adventure Shop? Treasure shop in help fund. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it, it worked. Okay, so we did it. Wait, wait, wait. So, did we build on to the adventure shop? I don't think it spent our money either, so I don't think it. Maybe it didn't work. And so it said Adventure Shop 1 down here and it was 345 and I clicked it and now it's gone. So I thought it worked. Maybe it didn't. So help fund a trade route to find new items. New items will be available in the shop. Okay. So if we build this one, we'll be able to buy new stuff. Get uh, Yildon a better stall for when he sells treasure in the city. Gain a sell bonus for your treasure. Ooh. Upgrade the bar to an inn by adding some rooms for travelers to stay. Adds new items to the shop's menu. Okay. So it seems like this here treasure shop is what we're going to want to do first so that we can get more for the stuff that we find. So we need 2,500 is our goal at the moment. Let's head back in here, see what else we can find, and see if we might be able to get up to that. Honestly, I just wanted to try out my new arm gem light thing. So this is what it is now. So what if we take this off? Ooh, okay, so it does do something. See how dark it is? It's a little bit better. It's not a lot better. So, let's see here. Let's go this way. Alright. Here's where we jumped. So we know that this is where we gotta we jump is the way out. When we get to here, there's different ways to go. So let's drop one of these guys. Actually, I think it's just straight. Hey, oh, is he squirting stuff out? Oh, <laughs> he squirted a little bit. <laughs> All right, cave in. Didn't happen, okay. Ooh. Oh, no, I'm full? Wait, we could put this here. Okay. Aha! I hear a bouncy sheep. I don't know what those guys are for still. So I know that I can use my pickaxe and go faster, but the pickaxe um, durability goes down so quickly. I kind of want to save it for. Oh, oh, oh! Ooh. I kind of want to sa save it for, like, if I find something I need to mine. I guess I thought that there was gonna be like deposits that that you have to mine. Um. 
This guy kind of marks our way, so this is our way here. And we're full on stuff right now. Crap. Um, let's see if we can find a place to use this bomb. And try it out. What is that thing? <laughs> it's funny. Alright, let's drop another thing here. And cave in. Oh no, it got me! Oh my god, we're not gonna make it out. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, come on! <sighs> Crap. Oh! Oh, I kept my... Oh no, my pickaxe is gone now. It wasn't my hotbar. So I kept this. Man, that sucks that you lose all your stuff. Yeah, so you see, my money's gone now too. So, to me, the thing that I would do right now is start a new game. Because when you start a new game, you will have your money, you'll have your pickaxe, and you'll have your stuff already. You won't have this. This is the only thing. Um, though it's not super bright. I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what guys, I think I'm going to leave this episode right here. I just wanted to get in the game and check it out. The developers sent it to me, sent me a key for it so that I could showcase it here for you guys. And I believe, well I showed you the Steam page at the beginning. I believe it's $19.99 if you want to check it out for yourself. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you want to see some more, I'll do, uh, I'll do a few more episodes on it. Um, but thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts on it down below in the comments, and you can also subscribe to the channel uh, for possibly more Miasma Caves if you guys enjoyed it and you want to see a little more of it, but definitely other videos. So thanks again for coming to hang out with me today, you guys. I really do appreciate it, and thank you to the developers for sending me the key and letting us all check it out. And we'll see you next time. Later, guys.